YouTube, what's the word, man? It's your boy, No Limit J. We back here with another video. So today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be talking about some ammunition today for your Glock 19 or pretty much any of your 9mm uh, handguns. But most specifically, I'm going to be talking about your Glock 19. Now, of course, you got, you know, safety first. For those of you who haven't watched my other videos, I do have two firearms. My first firearm right here is the Glock 19X. And it is empty and unloaded. So that's my first uh, nine millimeter handgun. My second is gonna be this. Uh, this actually was loaded, but the other one wasn't loaded. My second handgun is the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. And give me one second, I'm about to show y'all this in a minute. Yep, second handgun I have is the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. It is empty and unloaded. So, yep, again, two handguns. Glock 19, J5, MOS, and a Glock 19X. So, um, you know, for those of you who don't know much about ammo, you're watching this video for the first time, you, you uh, generally speaking, you want to have two different types of ammo. You are going to have your, uh, range ammunition and your self-defense rounds so this i think this this gonna be a two-part series this video right here is just going to be for the uh range ammunition and the next video is going to be for your self-defense rounds so for those of you who don't know the difference between your hold on i don't know why the camera is, is doing this but the difference between the range ammo and the self-defense ammo. So typically your range ammo is going to be your full metal jackets or FMJ bullets for short. So those bullets usually have copper or brass coating that typically covers the entire bullet, leaving no exposed, um, exposed lid. Um, range ammo like your full metal jackets or FMJs or fragments around are generally, some may consider them unsuitable for self-defense rounds. It just pretty much depends on who you ask. But typically, most people do carry with their uh, self-defense rounds. Um, you know, it may be tempting to some to consider range ammo due to its lower cost and higher availability, depending on your location. But this can actually be detrimental in a real world scenario. Um, the primary issue is because your full metal jackets or fragments around your FMJ bullets, whatever you want to call it, are generally um, they're generally considered unsafe. But it, it really, it really depends on who who, who you ask or whatever your opinion is. But. Um, the, the big issue with the, well, the big issue or issue some people have with using range ammo in contrast to the self-defense ammo is because of the behavior of the range ammo upon impact on the target when firing the weapon. Unlike your self-defense ammunition, range rounds tend to over-penetrate, which basically means that they can pass through your target and um, potentially harm unattended targets. And, you know, that's probably like a, a big risk in urban, suburban environments, whatever. So that's why you have a distinction between your range ammo and your, uh, what's it called? Self-defense rounds. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference right now. So it's quite easy to see the difference. So this clip right here is of the Glock 19 to five. Um, both, both ammos. I have two different types of ammo. They they both go at each gun. So, but this is the clip I picked up. So this right here, you can see that bullet, right? This is your 
range ammo. This is your full metal jacket. You see how the tip is? This uh, pause, pause. <laughs> you see how the tip is? The tip is closed off. Make sure y'all can see that. All right. Versus this. This is the clip for the 19X, but it's it's just the same. It's the same same bullet. Let me show y'all the other one. It's not the same. So both of these right here, range ammo. Right, full metal jackets. Just two different clips with two different guns. But the same brand. And I'll get I'm gonna get into the brands, but these bullets right here are your range ammo. We can see as the range ammo, otherwise known as your your hollow tips. The tip is hollow. Pause. Pause that. <laughs> the tip is hollow. See, you can also see a difference in the, the coloration. Let me make sure y'all can actually see that. So now let me do a quick side by side for y'all so you can see the difference in the tips of the bullets. Pause. So yeah, this is hollow. That's hence the name hollow tip. And basically when you shoot these, they pretty much expand into the target. But like I said, that's gonna be a different video. Just to keep it short for y'all. Um But yeah, so that's the reason you guys wanna have two different ammos for, for the range. Because your range ammo if you for your self-defense ammo basically, if you were to shoot something or someone for self-defense reasons of course um that bullet can potentially go through that target and injure someone else versus when you're using a hollow point ammunition or your self-defense rounds if you were to shoot someone something for self-defense purposes then um that round will stop in the thing that you shot at so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the different options of the best range ammunition according to the 23 2023 report for you know Glock 19 specifically but you know it should be fine for your other nine millimeter handgun but you know you just gotta uh, do your research on your specific handgun so just to clarify I'm, I'm gonna mention two terms when i'm looking at the ammo for you guys first is gonna be mu uh, muzzle velocity second is gonna be muzzle energy of you know the ammunition so muzzle velocity is basically a measure of the speed that the bullet um the speed of the bullet the moment it leaves the barrel of the gun when you pull the trigger and fire the weapon that's what muzzle velocity is and muzzle energy of ammunition basically is the measure of the energy of a the bullet or projectile or whatever as it leaves the muzzle of a firearm so basically yeah um So, you know, give me one second. I'm just making sure I have the ammo over right here for you guys. Oh, also, you know, it said that, you know, the more kinetic energy or muzzle energy of a firearm basically means the greater the penetration or the, the target damage. Um, Okay, so for the self, no, for your range ammo, I have one, two, three, four four different types of ammunition that you guys can note and take down um that were rated the best range ammunition for the glock 19 9 millimeter uh handgun so um the first one is going to be pmc bronze 115 grain full metal jacket this i'm not gonna go too much in depth i'm just gonna you know give brief so you guys can do your research on each uh, metaphor First one, like I said, is PMC bronze, 115 grain, full metal jacket. The muzzle, the muzzle velocity for this firearm is approximately 1,150 feet per second, and the muzzle energy is roughly 338 foot pounds. Remember, muzzle velocity is simply a measure of speed of the projectile the moment it leaves the barrel, while the muzzle energy of ammunition measures the energy of the projectile as it leaves the muzzle of the firearm. So, boom. The second recommended ranch ammunition for the Glock 19 handgun would be the Winchester Target Practice 115 grain full metal jacket. This ammunition has a muzzle velocity of 119, 
sorry, 1,190 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 362 foot pounds. So this is actually one that I do have for my firearm right here. So it is good. I've shot it, probably used about 100 to 150 rounds of it. And I haven't had any jamming or problems at the range with it. Um, this is probably like $25 a box for 50 rounds in my state. Um, the next ammo will be your American Eagle handgun 9mm Luger 147 grain with a muzzle velocity of 1,000 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 326 foot-pounds. Lastly, we got CCI Blazer Brass with 124 grain full metal jacket. The muzzle velocity of this uh, bullet will be 1,090 feet per second with a muzzle energy of 327 foot-pounds. So, um, for your range ammo, you know, these are said to be the best, supposedly supposed to be the best range ammo for your firearm, Glock 19. So, I would say go check this out, do some more research if you guys are interested in looking for some range ammo. But these are what I came across from my research and... You know, for those of you who know what field I work in, these are also recommended by the law enforcement field. So go ahead and check those out. But as well, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment down below and I'll go ahead and respond to those. And also check out part two. Um part two is gonna be about the self defense rounds. So go check those out because for those of you who do have a valid CCW in your state and will be carrying a concealed firearm, the Self-defense rounds are the rounds that you will be wanting to carry in your gun when you go out about. So go check those out and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and turn on post notifications for uh, both videos or whatever. Otherwise, man, I will catch you guys in the next video.